Hi and welcome to this edition of Out The Box. My name's Paul. Today we're going to have a look at what is in this brown box. This is another Ubiquiti product. It is part of the Air Max range, which is Ubiquiti's point-to-point, point-to-multipoint and backhaul uh, range of devices. So I'm going to show you what's in the box. It's not going to be a big technical overview. I'm going to give you an idea of what's in the box. You're going to get the device itself, which we'll have a look at in a moment. You are going to get, let's see which way we're going to do it, your PoE injector. Uh, remember, it's an Air Max product, so it's powered by 24 volts. So you're going to have your Cloverleaf power coming in that side. And then on this side here, um, you have your connection out to your LAN. And uh, then uh, the power is mixed by this injector, comes out of the PoE port, and you run that up to your device. You are going to get um, a basic wall mount clip. You scroll out to the wall. Um, you've got a little level there um, to make it easier to get it um, lined up correctly. Um, and then your device is literally just going to uh, slip down like that. Now, you'll see in a moment that when I walk through the device, this is already designed to be pole mounted, uh, but this makes it very quick just to be able to wall mount it in the box. You are going to get a zip tie. Zip tie is going to be used to go through those holes that you can see on the side here. Um, and just tie that straight to your pole. And you are going to get some um, lugs and screws to be able to mount that um, onto the wall as well. Now this is an Air Max device. Just a reminder, this isn't managed as part of the Unify uh, system. All right, the Unify system uses the Unify Cloud Control or the UDM Pro or um, the Cloud Key Gen 2 Plus. Um, this is uh, managed, if you want to do management, uh, by the UNMS. Um, which is again a free piece of software, Ubiquiti Network Management System that you can download, um, or there is now the UISP um, console, which is a bit like a cloud key um, that we have in the Unify range for Air Max. So it's a switch, it's got um, the controller software built into it and everything else. So what's the key for this? It looks like a nano station. All right, when I first got this, I was super excited. Hey, this is great, LTU, um, it's a proprietary um, way of being in control, um, the frequencies that both the send and the receiver on so we can get some better throughput. Uh, this unit itself does around about, can do up to about 600 megabits a second. So I was really excited. Hey, let's dump the nano stations. We'll go for these. These are just for the customer end. They are going to only work if you first have a main setup, which is probably going to be your um, rocket LTU to make this work. So a rocket plus its antenna is gonna be your central point and then these are gonna be each at your customer site. So just bear this in mind, you can't take two of these and make them run point to point. So this is the device itself, pretty much identical to the Loco 5AC, but let me just show you around so you can have a little look. Um, there's the front, um, the side setup, like I said, this hole here is where you're gonna put your zip tie through. Here's your curve cut out already for you to be able to put that up onto the pole. Pole is going to sit in there and you're going to zip tie it um, to it. All right, then simply here um, we have our plate that comes off, uh, same as all the other devices, and hopefully you can see in there, you can see the Ethernet connection and your reset. Um, so that's going to run up from your power over Ethernet uh, injector or your powered switch. Now, I do remember when you're mounting these, I do like to just make sure that everybody's thought about this. All right. Obviously water can ingress into here if we're not careful. So we're always gonna create a drip loop. So wherever you've got your ethernet cable coming from, all right, we wanna see it come out of the bottom. We wanna see it come up part of the way, all right, before it goes off or back through the wall. We're gonna create a drip loop. It means that any moisture, condensation, rain that falls onto here runs down our cable, drips at the bottom here, all right, and it doesn't have the option. If you have a cable that comes down and straight into the back, then the water is gonna travel down the cable and straight into the joint or maybe even straight this way. So always make sure that you've taken a little bit of time, a little bit of extra to do a drip loop so it comes down and like this. It means that this device will last longer for you. So like I said, that is the LTU. It is just designed to be on the customer premises and work with a rocket um, LTU to make the whole setup work. It's 24 volts, it's part of the Air Max range, but hopefully that's been useful. That's the Ubiquiti LTU light. Do head on over to our YouTube channel. Loads more box openings on wireless network and firewalling devices. Um, plenty of how-to guides, how to set up point-to-point, -point, um, how to set up Ubiquiti Network and Ubiquiti Protect, or even how to protect your network with um, firewall appliances. So do subscribe and stay up to date.